It's time for another casual encounter. Hello. I knew you'd be back. Even someone as hardcore as you are needs to unwind a bit. So relax, baby. Let's get casual. LL Cool L has something he wants to show you. Daddy's parched! Ah, <laughs> thank you. So it was the 1981 Comdex. After a two-day bender, I'm at a diner 34 miles south of the Strip next to a 74-year-old programmer from Hewlett-Packard named Dan Leaf and a bleary-eyed John C. Dvorak. Danny's so hopped up on goofballs, he was convinced a family of gnomes had built a functioning city inside his corned beef hash. He smashes the plate on the floor and starts to pick up the food with his hands and drop it into his mouth. And then he looks at me and says, Double L, in this world, you gotta know when to be patient, when to dodge your enemies, and when to smite the devil in front of you. Was Dano in need of a bib? <laughs> of course. Was that the best advice I ever got from a man eating off the floor? You bet your life. It reminds me of Infinity Blade 2 for iOS. The sequel to one of the games introduced with the iPhone 4. This sweet piece of silver debuted with the 4S. The hack and slash gem totally takes the RPG elements of the original to a new level with state-of-the-art graphics and an even better character design. Unlike the tiny track of the first game, IF2 gives you three times the space to roam around and real challenging twists and turns that keep you guessing. Also, the addition of new weapon types and the massive expansion of money lying around completely erases two annoying elements of its predecessor. Make no mistake, my friends, this is a console-quality game shrunk into the palm of your hand. Kind of like those itty-bitty gnomes constructing a mighty metropolis under Danny's spuds. Sure, at $5.99 it's pricey for an iOS game, but the top of the line costs, my friend. And if you're an iPhone 4S owner, I'm glad to report this little sweetie plays as smooth as a baby buffed in turtle wax. You know, Dan Leaf finished every last piece of that hash and found no city. Eventually, he left HP so he could look for the gnome town full time. Did he still enjoy the meal? <laughs> you better believe it. Did he ever find those tiny bastards? Well, that's a story for another casual encounter. This has been a casual encounter.